I'm saying. I'm talking about what Art Kaguya, so all the versions of what Art Kaguya. Anything, uh, anything besides that, I don't really care about. Okay. What Art Kaguya? All the versions of what Art Kaguya. That's the one I wanted to debate if he's in level or not. Yeah. So does that? What Art? I want to clarify that as well. Does that mean I can't bring up anything from like any other events? It has to be specifically Kaguya, like from War Arc only? Yeah, it, that, that's not relevant for me. I'm also oh. talking about it's War Arc Kaguya. Well, the, oh. the reason why I say it is relevant is because... So right now, right now I, need, I just need to state my premise, yes? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so let me clarify one thing. I'm talking about War Art Kaguya, so all the versions of War Art Kaguya. The, uh, the reason why I think she's above moon level is because the expensive two second orbs were stated to be they can create worlds and destroy them, whatever he, however she wants to. And the worlds can mean a planet to even a universe, so it's at the very least a planet. And let me send the scan here one second. Which is make her above moon level. That's all I have to say. Happy you can go. Did you send it to scans or where, where am I looking? Uh, check the bait chat. Check the bait chat. Yeah, because no, we're debating he, he explained his reasoning on why she'd be planetary. At least. You need to put all your points, like everything you possibly will potentially That's bring. All... Mm. This, this kind of... That's that. Well, okay. yeah. If if he's if he's fine with that, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure, guys, this scan is more than enough. I think. Where did you send the scan, by the way? I don't actually see this. The base, uh, the base. Uh... To prove that she's above moon level. He, he he did he did provide I evidence. Did. He did state the premise. I did provide evidence. I did say. Oh. Okay. Um, Kaguya has only one ability, which is what we've discussed. That it's the orb that can uh, has been proven to uh, be the start of a new time space. However, that ability itself cannot be used without Chakra beyond her own natural reserves. And in the tiering system, it demands that you have infinite energy and creation has to be internal not uh, and from zero. So it cannot be something that uh, requires energy from beyond her own. <clears throat> so I can post a scan for the tiering system, I guess. And this particular um, scan that Sate sent uh, states that it requires two things, sacrifices and shinobi chakra. So that's my premise in that it requires power beyond her own and it doesn't scale to her. Um, the, the orb does not scale to Kaguya's base stats. <clears throat> uh, so let's go with this one. Um, and where's this tiering system? So I'll be um, specifically referring to 
this part, I guess, because we're talking about creation. But we can also look at, you said it was um, planetary, so I guess we can look at that section as well. But yeah, that's my um, premise. Infamous? That was my premise, which was uh, the orb doesn't scale off her base stats because it comes from energy or uh, energy from beyond her own. And the scan that I posted states that it requires Shinobi Chakra and the infinite Tsukuyomi or sacrifices. So that means that in order to use this ability, she can't use it without all those other elements from beyond her own energy. And creation has to be from internal. Uh, the conclusion is that uh, because the orb doesn't scale to her base stats, uh, it would go back to her best feat, which would be uh, she was relative to fighting Hagoromo and Hamura. And Hagoromo was able to perform a moon level feat, which would put her at moon level plus. So I'll chuck that up as well, I guess. Okay, so let me say something. I don't have any questions to ask him. Um, planet level. Yep, I do have five, but I want to use them well. So we've got... So, based on this orb, would you agree that because it doesn't scale from her own energy, that it would be a moon level creation feat? Oh, not a moon level. I mean, um, she would have to. Kaguya would scale to her best feat, which is not this one, not the orb. So, based on this orb panel, because it, you can't scale it from her own, like she doesn't scale to the orb because she doesn't uh, create this orb from her own chakra. She she uses it from Shinobi chakra from the infinite Sukiyomi. Do you agree that you have to get her from a different ability than this one is the question? Okay, so I specified in my premise that I'm using versions of what are Kaguya. What uh, Kaguya, when she absorbed the Shinobi Alliance chakra and everything, that's a version of Kaguya, so that stays with my premise. You, you, you're just proving that her base form is not planetary or she's not... Uh, Universal or anything. You're saying that her, her base form is more level. I'm not arguing that. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking. In my premise, I said that all the versions of what Arcaguia. That's the thing that I'm interested in. That's the thing that I'm debating. And expensive to seeking of uh, Kaguya absorb Kaguya when she absorbed the uh, Shinobi Alliance chakra and everything. That's a version of what Arcaguia, as I stated in my premise. Okay. Um. With destruction, if uh, the character is able to do it from their own energy and their own uh, abilities, so creation or destruction from their own internal energy, uh, that would mean that Kaguya does not scale to this orb. And even I... the best form of Kaguya would, would not uh, be able to perform this feat without the other conditions, right? Which is the, the Shinobi Chakra and the Infinite Tsukuyomi. I specified that I'm talking about all the versions of our Kaguya. Kaguya, when she absorbed the Shinobi Chakra and everything, that's also a version of what our Kaguya. So my premise is still correct because you agreed on her, on her with the Shinobi Alliance Chakra is above moon level, basically. So that, that's a version of our Kaguya, and I did specify in my premise that I want uh, I'm debating for what Arkaguya, all the versions for Arkaguya. I knew both of the Hamura or Hagoromo, that's not even what Arkaguya, I don't see why that is relevant here. Okay. So.
based on the events of the actual manga itself, we know that the orb was never successfully used, so therefore it'd have to scale to an unknown amount of uh, damage. And because it's unquantifiable, and because we don't actually know how much it was going to do, we can't actually scale her from the orb. So would you agree that you can't scale her because we don't know how much damage would actually do? We actually know what the what the orb is do, because I just sent the data box statement and it stated that she can create walls and destroy them with the orb. But then it also states in the in the actual data book panel that she can't do so without the infinite Tsukiyomi or chakra beyond her own, and she needs sacrifices. Those are three conditions, and so However, this I isn't don't. this is this wouldn't scale her. This would scale the orb. I I don't care about the sacrifices and everything because that version of Kaguya is still a one arc version of Kaguya. That's still in my premise. Yeah, my premise. And it, I said, and I, I said and I'm using all the war. Let me finish. Uh, I said I'm using. The other versions of what are Kaguya. I did specify that and made that clear. So, so Kaguya with the Shinobi Alliance Chakra absorb and with the Infinite to me and sacrifices and everything is above moon level. Do you agree or not? Isn't it my questions? I still got two more. Okay, then. Yeah, so my, my, my next. Yeah, my, my next question was... Yep. Okay. Yep. So... Is it the orb or is it Kaguya that does this, that creates a world? Is that your question? Yeah. Kaguya is the one that creates the orb. With the Shinobi Alliance Chakra or, or whatever you want to say, but the stellar version of what are Kaguya, she, she's the one that creates the orb. Do you so, have proof that she can create the orb on her own without the, the three requirements I stated before? So this is your last question, right? The last question. I don't care if she cannot create it. So you have no proof? She doesn't. Okay. Can I share proof to say that you actually do or no? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so as you stated before, you said that it was Kaguya that actually uh, used the orb, but it, in what we found in both the panel that you shared, and also in the manga as well, it stated that it's required, uh, you need the infinite Tsukiyomi, you need sacrifices, and you need um, Shinobi Chakra, all things that you need to be able to use this orb. So she can't actually use this orb, it's actually like a combination of things. All right. And she's been, so, yep. So, I'll let okay, you go. So let me start again to remind you of mm -hmm. my premise. I said that I'm debating for all the versions of, uh, for, mm -hmm. all, for all the versions of what are Kaguya, okay? Kaguya after absorbing the Shinobi Alliance Chakra, after making the, the sacrifices, that's still a version of what are Kaguya. That Kaguya is the one that used the expensive choosing. Mm -hmm. So that what are Kaguya is above moon level. So I don't care if you think So that you, you, you think that Kaguya is above moon level? Or is it in like, uh, is moon level like moon level that, plus? That, or are you that, saying that, more that than version, moon level plus? That, that version of Kaguya, that after, uh, after she absorbed the Shinobi Alliance Chakra and everything, she can, she can put those expensive two second orbs which puts her above moon level and it can put her at planetary to even universal, but that's not like, that's not, that's not relevant right now. All I need is to prove that she's above moon level, that version of Kaguya. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the expense. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that version of Kaguya, after she absorbed the Shinobi Alliance Chakra and everything, can use the expensive two second offs, the expensive issue two second offs, to a status that it can create plant worlds and destroy them. And world can mean at least plants. Yeah. 
like talk can you guys talk in general because it's really distracting especially when you're saying you're gonna neg happy i got you who said they're gonna neg happy i don't know but we can debate after and we'll see who's gonna neg me now yo who the fuck said they're gonna neg happy Okay, so what I was saying is that that version of Kaguya, the after she absorbed the Shinoki Alliance Chakra and everything, that's still a war arc version of Kaguya, which is which agrees with my premise. That version of Kaguya can use the expansive tree signal, of, the expansive tree signal also a stated they can they can create worlds, meaning she's above moon level. Worlds can mean anything from planets to moon. universe. <laughs> so. So yeah, if we don't have definitive evidence of how, how large her dimensions are, because, look, even if she creates something with this orb, we don't even know if these dimensions that she's creating are planetary. We've never actually seen it successfully work on the ninja world. So you could even assume that the other dimensions that she has already previously created are only moon level at max. We don't actually know. There's no, no evidence like... that you've provided, and there's no evidence from the scans that you've provided to prove that it's more than moon plus. And from the two the two panels that I've shown, it clearly shows, and these ones that I'm just resending now, that it actually requires the infinite Tsukiyomi Shinobi Chakra plus a moon, right, that she has to teleport in in order to have this ability activated. And if she doesn't have all these requirements, she can't actually use this, this ability at all. And Again. this is this is this this there's one extra point that um that that adds to this is that in order to consistently use this ability, she has to continually be draining chakra from the people that are trapped in the in, the, the the infinite Tsukuyomi. And this was uh, made obvious when they said the only way that we can stop Kaguya or this orb is by sealing her away. And so when they sealed her, then the orb stopped. But when she was constantly draining and using the Tsukuyomi and using all of these things that I've stated that you were uh, required to use the orb, she was able to use the orb. But without these requirements, okay. she was unable to use the orb. Therefore, she doesn't scale to the orb because this is from okay. Chakra Beyond Her Own. Okay, again, I'm going to say it one last time. I don't care what requirements, uh, what, what requirements she had to use the orb. I'm talking about that version of Kaguya after she used the Shinobi Alliance Chakra. That version of Kaguya is still a war arc. Kaguya. I state that in my premise that I'm using all the versions of what are Kaguya. Okay? So you're saying that her base form is, is not, is not uh, planetary. I'm stating that I don't care about her base form because that version of Kaguya that absorbs the Shinobi Alliance Chakra and uses the Infinite Tsukuyumi, that's still a version of what are Kaguya. And you said the, okay. the, her dimension. That's fair. That's fair. Let me, let, let, let me just finish. Let, let me just finish. Sure. Uh, and, and then you said that her, her dimensions are not even a moon level. However, in the data book statement, it says that she can create mm -hmm. worlds, and worlds can mean mm -hmm. anything from planetary to even universe. So it still mm -hmm. puts her, she's at least planetary with the orb. Well, we know um, that prior to this, uh, the only other feats that could potentially scale her past moon level is uh, her relativity to Sasuke and Naruto. So if we're, if we're actually looking at um, how, like, as a second, uh, testimony to prove that she's not planetary. If she was planetary, she would have one shot Naruto and Sasuke, because at this point they weren't planetary. And and prior to that, they were fighting the Jub Jubito and Judara, who were scaled to be uh, multi-continental. And if we, I can I can show a scan for the Ten Tails that it was only proven to be um, able to destroy mountains and continents and so forth. So if it was only able to do that, and Naruto and Sasuke were relative to the Ten Tails and Judara and so forth. That would mean that if Kaguya was planetary, she would have easily one-shotted them, uh, and it would be inconsistent with the scaling for Naruto and Sasuke and the show, and therefore it would be headcanon to state that uh, it's more than moon level because Hagoromo gave some of his chakra to Sasuke and. Um, Naruto to make them from multi-continental up to, and this is low balling, like uh, or sorry, high balling let's say that um, Naruto and Sasuke with uh, Hagoromo's chakra were able to become uh, on Hagoromo's level. That means they, were, they would be relative to moon level because Hagoromo managed to create the moon and that would mean that Naruto uh, and Sasuke, if they were fighting against a planetary beating, they would have easily been dominated within the first like couple of seconds 
So it's headcanon to suggest that uh, Kaguya is beyond moon, le uh, moon level plus. Okay, so first of all, it's not headcanon because in the data box it's stated that she can create worlds. I'm talking about the version of Kaguya at the end when she uploads the Shinobi Alliance Chakra and everything. In the yeah, I'm talking about that too. Okay, so you, you, you're talking about the last version of Kaguya when she absorbed the Shinobi Alliance and everything, right? Yeah, and if she was fighting with okay. um, Naruto and Sasuke, then okay. uh, she okay, would have so... dominated them within the first minute instead of over 20 episodes. Okay, uh, the first minute she didn't absorb the Shinobi Alliance Chakra and everything, but anyway. Uh, what, what I'm asking is, how is she not about Moon level if she can use the expensive Tristic and Ultra, which can create and destroy world? So, what you're saying is that Kaguya is not planetary, right? I'm saying that um, Ka Kaguya still has to be a little bit stronger than Naruto and Sasuke because they were not really keeping up with her. So that would put her at least like Moon Plus. Also, she was able to um, two on one Hagoromo and Hamura. And if Hagoromo was uh, relative to his Moon level creation feat, that would mean that she would be slightly stronger because she was stated to be stronger than Hagoromo. Uh, and okay. so therefore, uh, she would be Moon Plus. And another thing that uh, was also would confirm this, uh, the scaling, is that when Kaguya was defeated both times, she saw um, in Indra and Ashura's reincarnations in Naruto and Sasuke. So she she saw them as if they were, um, as if they were reincarnations of her true sons. And okay. if she was fighting her true sons, who were moon level, then that would mean uh she would have to be slightly stronger than them but in okay, both so instances she was defeated by them so they'd have to be strong enough to be able to defeat her but not so strong that uh because it was it was relatively uh okay, back okay, and okay, forth okay, okay, i got what you mean just just answer this kaguya with the expensive two second orb uh, do you agree with her being planetary or not at least planetary no Okay, so then um, I would like you to debunk this statement here of the... Okay, no, I think can go if you want. Okay, so in conclusion, um, it would be headcanon to suggest that Naruto and Sasuke are um, on, sorry, that Kaguya is above Moon Level Plus, because if she was planetary, she would have easily dominated Naruto and Sasuke straight away. However, it was relatively uh, close, you could argue, a close fight, and that Naruto and Sasuke managed to survive throughout most of it. Uh, and even prior to these, these fights, uh, Naruto and Sasuke were only multi-continental, but as a result of receiving Hagoromo's chakra, they were able to be on par with Kaguya. So to suggest that they jumped all the way to planetary as well is headcanon. Um, and the fact that Kaguya and her best feet prior was fighting Hagoromo, which was moon level, would suggest that she would be slightly stronger than them because she 1v2'd them, meaning that she would be moon plus and that uh, Sasuke and Naruto would have to be slightly weaker because both of them combined weren't able to take down Kaguya. So therefore, uh, they would be slightly slower, slightly lower. Um, and so their moon, and then Kaguya's moon plus, and she couldn't use the orb with her own chakra, so she doesn't scale from the orb uh, without the specific requirements that I stated. Therefore, she uh, isn't planetary. She doesn't scale to the moon, uh, to the, the orb, sorry. And yeah, Kaguya's moon plus. Okay. 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 So he's talking about Kaguya fighting Hagoromo and Hamura, which is not my premise at all. I, the whole time I was talking about what are Kaguya mean, all the versions of what are Kaguya, I state that clearly in my premise. I'm talking about Kaguya after she absorbed the Shinobi Alliance Chakra, after she used the entrance to Kuyumi, after everything. This, that, that version of Kaguya can use the expensive two second orbs. The expensive tree secret also stated that it can create worlds and destroy them. Worlds can mean anything from planetary to even universe, meaning that she's at least planetary. That version of Kaguya is at least planetary. I'm not talking about the other version. I'm talking about that version of Kaguya at the last in the world. And you even agreed 
that the, the X message can also can destroy and create worlds. That version of Kaguya can actually use the X message to can also show she's at least planetary. So because the recording didn't record infamous or anything he said, that's why there's a bunch of different blank spots between the debate where the judge was talking and telling yeah. whose turn it was. So I've just posted the written judgment for the debate. And this is the, the, the written judgment right here.